Hey everybody, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, Kat Schwendemann. Schwendemann. <laughs> Schwendemann, I'm so sorry. First off, we're just gonna be talking with each other and just helping with each other's games. I'm gonna kind of help her out with her driver. We've been working together for a couple of months and I'm really happy to have her on my channel. So I was talking to Angela lately. I've been struggling with my driver, maybe being in that safe area for me and that would be like 150 in. I'm gonna take a look at that and uh, we're gonna see if I can improve a little bit on my drives. Again, lately I've been slicing a little bit or I have a little fade um, or if mentally I'm trying to protect my elbow I come over yeah. the top and I go to the left it's mainly your right elbow right it's my left elbow left elbow yeah so as soon as I start the downswing mm -hmm. if I can feel that extension and that pressure I go this way with uh -oh. my club because uh -oh. it then makes my right arm mm -hmm. you know and then I it, so okay. that's been my miss lately okay. with my drive there you go. I mean, like with your driver, you said you, you're missing it to the right with the, a fade, right? You said right now? A fade or, I, I would say it's a fade or a baby slice. It's not like a slice that's always going out. Mm -hmm. Like I consider a slice like pretty significant to the right, right? Mm -hmm. It starts out straight and then really spins to the right. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's a fade or a baby fade. Okay. I mean, technically, like, if or we're looking... Or baby slice, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. If we're looking at, like, your actual, like, mechanics and stuff like that, I think you're fine. But the only thing I would say is, like, on the tee box, we could just incorporate a little bit more breathing. This is just my suggestion. Oh, for sure. That has so much to do with, like, performance, because it's so different on the range. I'm pretty sure you've told this with all your students, but sometimes we forget, right? We're just, like, so worried on either hitting it somewhere or not being in the way of somebody that you just forget to, like... Just be like, hey, what am I doing? What's the picture that I see in my head? Do I feel it with my hands? Do I commit to it and do it, right? That's the hardest part of golf, right? People always say, how do I bring my range swing to the golf course swing? That's really just getting your mindset and your heart rate right. So I feel like um, that could be maybe a suggestion for something to work on. So for me personally, when I'm swinging, right when I'm about to go after I've done all my pre-shot routine, and I'm sure you know all that stuff, I do this inhale through my nose and I exhale through my mouth. And then as soon as I'm done exhaling, I start my swing. And I do that every time or else I can't start because I found if I actually start my swing and I inhale, I get all like choppy. And then if I start exhaling through it, I, like, I like start to lose mm -hmm. my ball. So whatever like sequence works for you, I just suggest like breathing. I know that no. sounds like probably weird, but. No, no, <laughs> not at all. I mean, when I had a coach mm -hmm. back in the day to pass my PAT, mm -hmm. when I decided I wanted to literally leave television production mm -hmm. and marketing and all that, too. Um, that was one of the big things that we worked on. It was kind of like, okay, you know how to perform, yeah. but you don't know how to use your internal feeling. Yes. And so probably very similar to that, but that's been a long time ago yeah. when I worked with Courtney. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So, and then that's how I feel, you know, but uh, again, I haven't had a coach in a while. So, uh, you know, nobody sat there and told me that. Yeah. But, so, and I, and I am trying to figure it out on yeah. my own. Yeah. So. And it, it's sometimes because golf is blind, right? You don't see yourself doing it. Other people, if they have a third option, you can like gather more data. So like some shots that I saw last time on Sunday, you probably weren't breathing. You were almost holding your breath. Oh, I was holding my breath. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, that's not going to, that's, there's no way your muscles can do what you want if you're holding your breath. Think about like if you were underwater, right, in a swimming pool, how could you probably do like a backstroke or a freestyle? Right. You probably couldn't. But everybody's breathing, moving. I mean, all athletes do that. You just need a reminder. My coach does that to me all the time. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my suggestion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Finish your exhale and then go ahead and pull the trigger. Nice. Oh my gosh, you look so much more relaxed. Like I could care less where that ball went, but like your, <laughs> your physical state, it just looks like you were just chilling, you know? Yeah. What did, what did it feel like? Uh, yeah, it, it, well, the breathing, just, like, because my, I, I actually took a breath through my mouth first, and I was like, wait a second, you said to take it through my nose, yeah. so I switched it up, <laughs> which made me stop thinking about my golf club and my golf ball and where it was going to go, because I already know how to hit the ball, yeah. right? <laughs> that shouldn't be what should be running through exactly, my mind, exactly. and it just made me relax and get my shoulders down out of my ears and help me move more freely. Yes. And I'm pretty sure my ball is exactly where I explained I All like right. to go. <laughs> All right, that works. So more free swing is always a better swing in, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna try the same thing what I just shared with Kat. Um, breathing has saved me multiple times. So I'm just gonna make sure I do my routine. I'm just gonna try to do a baby cut. Really try to relax my body and just tee it high, let it fly, <laughs> whatever it's called. Okay.
straight pull, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna take it. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was my video with Kat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We learned a lot about each other and it's nice to know kind of her background and what she goes through in her mind as a player and also as a teacher because sometimes you just forget certain things. There's so much going on. There's so many variables when you play golf, but there are all small details that you have to go over or it's not gonna be the best of your performance. So I really encourage you guys to try out what we did. Breathing does matter and it actually does help no matter what situation you're in practice it do it religiously like i always say and if you guys like this video please share subscribe and thank you again cat for being here of course, today my pleasure. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video